internet stratosphere. Welcome to another episode of Baking It on Broadway. I'm here with Janet Crouppen. What up? What are we baking today, Miss Janet? Um, pumpkin. Tiny pumpkin. No, not at all. Oh. Once more with feeling. We're making... Banana, Banana bread. bread. There it is. Nailed are it. you a Buffy fan or is that just... I am a Buffy fan. Okay. So the first thing we gotta do, we got to preheat our oven to 320. But next thing we got to do, we gotta take our uh, flour, which is pre-sifted by me. Pre-sifted flour. Pre-sifted flour. Do you see how unlumpy it is? The lady it's lumps? Beautiful. Yeah, there are no lady My lumps in there. lovely lady lumps in the back and in the front. Alright, so I'm gonna this put this one in this bowl. Yes. Alright. What? Bernal. Didn't you watch... Was it Kate? Who was it on a, a SNL? She was Paula Dean. Okay. Better and I. Oh, I did have a back. So bring it on. How did that come about? I was a senior in college at USC in film school. Mm -hmm. I thought being an actor was an unrealistic career expectation. I still why, think that. Why would you think that? <laughs> And uh, I, I went out for it in January, and it was like a six-month audition process, and then I booked it in July for the mm -hmm. workshop, had to re-audition again for the tour. So did you do it at the Alliance as well? In Atlanta, yeah. Okay. Oh, so you also know Elena Ricardo. I love Elena Ricardo. She was on Hi, Elena Ricardo. Ricardo. Hi, Elena. <laughs> then just moving around. Uh, she feels so important right I now. I feel very powerful. I don't, so Bring It On started off as a tour. Right. So and then when did you guys get the call that you are like, Surprise, you're gonna be at the St. James Theater. It was nuts. I was just talking about that day the other day. We were in Toronto, we were touring, we'd been on the road for like nine months, mm -hmm. and I understand why rock, star, rock stars go crazy, because mm -hmm. like, the work is great, and the money is great, but like, the day-to-day -day mm -hmm. is very draining. You yeah. were on tour, you know. I, I was, I was. It is, it is very draining. Oops. So, everybody was pretty, pretty, pretty exhausted, and we're in Toronto, and the producer, Mike Isaacson, who also did like, Fun Home and Kristen Kasky and them, they call a meeting and it was like, those meetings are either really, really good or really, really bad. <laughs> so everything had been great and everyone was like, ooh, and we all go to the meeting and everyone's standing around like this and he goes, so we are going to take it slow, you know, things come at a pace, uh, you're going to have seven days off and then we go into the St. James. <laughs> So what did you do with those seven days? Oh, you know I got it done. So I went to L.A. <laughs> for the first four, and then uh, I love dance music, and uh, I'd been to Electric Daisy Carnival in Vegas the last three years. So on those seven days off, I fit in L.A. and Vegas, and then I so I, let, I gave my third day ticket away, mm -hmm. and I felt very cool, like putting on my sunglasses, being like, ta-ta, ravers, I've got to go be on Broadway. So wait, <laughs> but you, so you were dancing with the hands on a hard body, you would mm -hmm. bring it on where all the movement happens. Uh-huh. Um... Bring it, because that show is like so physically heavy. It was taxing. Did you, were there any major accidents in Bring It On? Uh, well, we were happening at the same time as Spider Man, and there was a lot of conversations about actors and safety and the art form and what they should ask and what they can't ask of like performers to do. Mm -hmm. And I thought nothing truly terrible ever happened at Bring It On, although there was a lot of close calls just because we were flinging each other around in the air yeah. day in and day out. But if something went wrong, there was a trained expert human ninja to catch the girl. Do you know what I mean? It's like, I remember Dave Rank, who was one of our big cheer boys. Oh, Lauren, the girl on top, Lauren Witt, what's up, Lauren? She, like, felt comfortable enough at the top of the thing. She's supposed to fall backwards. She takes mm -hmm. a look back, the piano, whatever rehearsal room she's in, mm -hmm. she, she goes, it's too close, I'm falling forward, and she just like calls it out and starts to fall and Dave is in the back and Dave like into the whole room's full of producers <laughs> it's like the designer run yeah. and Dave just like lunges this way and lunges this way and I swear to god like Heisman Trophy takes it on the knees and catches her and Lauren just like pops up and Dave's like <gasps> and everyone's like Gah! we're gonna spray this mother do you want to spray? ah yeah okay okay, okay. come on little buddy we got an extra one just in case that one don't do so good. It's a little, it's a little slow. It's a little slow. Can, Can you rehearse and come back in? Thank you. Bring, we'll more? bring in the swing. Oh, swing's ready. Uh, she's ready to go. You do a little dance. Make a little love. Do, 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 do. Get down tonight. Bow, bow. Get down tonight. Bow, bow. These are now going into the oven. Would you like to... Uh, Bless them? Yes. Um, sparkle. May you be amazing. In you go. So we got 25 minutes until these things have to come out of the oven. 
Uh, what can we do for 25 minutes? 20,000 kids in a line trying to get inside. They're waiting for a moment to shine. If we could only freeze this moment in time, because we're finally in the screaming coliseum that we've seen in our minds. Yeah. Yay. That's boom, 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 boom. Like you went into the, but the whole first eight count was put your head down and like think about how determined you are to f this. Uh, and I was like, that is an amazing first eight count for an audition. Spunky, funky girl, and she's here to bake for you. Yeah. Like, I'm really on. I, I love cats at nine. Loved cats. Miss Janet. Yes. Um, <laughs> I just, I just want to like hold that there forever. Um, we have our icing. Whee! Um, and we are about to uh, take our thingies out of the oven. Mm. Um, do you want to do the eyes to take them out or bring them out? <gasps> Bringing them out? This is the moment. My final test. Are they coming out pretty easy over I'm going to jimmy it, jimmy it. Oh, Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy. This is artistry right here. It sure is. I am. I need you to move faster on these things because. <laughs> writing and I'm just gonna bake from now on. You found your true calling here on Baking It on Broadway. You heard it first, folks. You know, this is, this. now I'm gonna sound like my mother's daughter. You, what you need is some protein mm. or some healthy sugars because if you just eat a bagel, those are empty carbs. They, they can't, are. They can't help you. Mm -hmm. Ready Great. now. Let's each take one. They're beautiful. They are, look at that. That is a nice shiny banana bread. Mm. Okay. Okay. One, two, three. Moment of truth. Three cheers. Yeah, let's cheer. Cheers. Mm. Mother. <laughs> We're gonna take these and bring them to my couch. We're gonna have a little couch time. Go through my world famous questionnaire. Ooh. And dig a little deeper. And three, two, one. <laughs> Zero f given. Coffee makes me poop. We're classy up in this. I didn't choose the mug life. The mug life chose me. This is our world famous questionnaire. World famous. World famous. Oh. The likes of Kathy Rigby. I love her. Tanya Harding. What? Stephen Pasquale. Harvey Firestein. Mm. Know nothing about. <laughs> Starting with the very basics. Okay. We used to go basics and then we go. Then we go. No. <laughs> the most basic. Starting with okay. favorite music hell. Oh. I hate that question. How am I supposed to pick one? I think the perfect show is West Side Story. Favorite play? Favorite play, The Crucible. Solid, are you gonna go see this one? I'll see anything that someone gives me tickets to. Dream role? Funny girl, someone should let, cause I would take it and run away and break, and like I would, it would be, right? I'd see, I'd see the sh of that. Um, if we had different junk down there, what would we like to play? I really, really love the soliloquy song from Carousel, actually. I think I would do the soliloquy. We have a term here called musical moped, uh, which is a musical that you love, but never really admit out loud to people that you love. Lord or of the Rings, the musical. We saw it twice. It was amazing. I have the soundtrack. That's a good one. I was not expecting that one. A lot of our viewers <laughs> are aspiring performers, writers. Mm -hmm. um, and as we discussed earlier, you are doing a lot of writing these days. Yeah. Writing of the rock and the pop. And the pop musics, um, working on scripts, really uh, working on what the next great adventure is. I've mm -hmm. always looked up to people like Lynn, uh, creators as well as executors. And, uh, you know, life, if you're lucky, is long. And I would love to do more shows. I would love to write more things, write songs, write... Creating feels so wonderful, and uh, I would suggest that to young aspiring people. Is like if you if you picture your life and everything just comes to your inbox, and there's someone calling you and telling you where to be and shuttling you everywhere, like oh g good luck. I hope that works out for you. But the the much more bankable option is that it's you who decides what you're gonna do every day, and it's you who's like booking the thing and and you know filling your time and so if given full creative license to do whatever what does your days look like so let's get into position okay <clears throat> assume the position this has been another episode of baking it on broadway i want to thank miss janet group thank Broadway's. you for having me of course it's been a pleasure until next time everyone this has been baking it on broadway life is a carburetor jump <laughs> have you never heard that <laughs> uh, it's fun when they haven't heard it
That's what we do, right, Tyler? Poof. Not for 25 minutes, no. No?